Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to Aliens Fireteam Elite. I am very excited. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Sorry, I had to check my audio. I was a little loud. Okay. Push the mic away a little bit, so hopefully that fixes it. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Aliens Fire Team Elite. I've never played this on stream. I w I'm going to preface that. I did play this when it was brand new in a buggy mess at launch. I got completely leveled out for one of the uh, classes. I believe it was the technician class. Because my brother is a huge Aliens fan and I promised I'd play with him. So we played it together and did whatever was there but they've added a lot of content updates since then and all a bunch of dlc came out that i have yet to play or experience so i figured eh, might as well uh play through this on our playthrough of aliens franchise games that i own we just recently beat isolation and this is loosely tangential to that game because that refinery in the distance on the screen we're seeing is also a like seeks and synthetics uh Refinery, kind of like a Sevastopol station. So, eh, I just thought, eh, might as well play it, you know? See how it goes. Let me share out the stream real quick. If it, yeah, okay, I was like, if it will work for me. <laughs> My lordy roo. And we're good. Alright. So now all we gotta do is get my second screen up and running. Make sure everything is good and green across the board. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks great, actually. It's looking good, chat. Looking real good, I think. Yeah, no, we're looking good. There's this, this weird bar on my other... Like... Yeah, okay, now we're good. That was like a weird graphical glitch on my second screen, so... Ignore that. Anyways, let's get right into it. Hardcore game. Okay, let's play a hardcore game. Um, yeah, it looks like they changed the character creator up significantly, I think. It's not so bad. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, gray eye. Let's go orange. Eh, why not? Hairstyles. <laughs> Welcome in, Punsby. Thank you for the sponsor code drop. That is my sponsor for today's video and every day's video. Riverstone Cottage Gifts, LLC.com, or we're just Riverstone Cottage Gifts.com. I always say LLC because it sounds cooler and that they are a limited liability company, so you know, why not? But uh, we're about to play F Aliens Fire Team Elite, and they have kindly been able to provide me with a sponsor for today's video. So definitely check them out if you're feeling uh, like you want to spend some money on yourself. Get yourself something nice or like share something with a loved one. They've got amazing jewelry, crafts, and all kinds of candy. And Punsby is an avid supporter. He has bought is a great fair share and absolutely adored every single sample he had. So that has a really cool hairstyle. I've never seen like dreads like that that is that is all it almost feels xenomorph like like xenomorph like i i find it fascinating hmm and let's see I feel like this is as close as we're going to get to my hairstyles possible in Charging voice. The deck. 
Let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> anytime, anywhere. We are ultimate badasses. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. Yeah, that one's fine. What is this? Hardcore mode. Lethal new challenge. If a hardcore character dies in a mission, they are deleted. You will need to create another character and begin again. Credits, script, and prestige will carry over from one slain member to the next, and items previously unlocked can be repurchased. Holy shit. Okay, that is what this is. Sweet. So it's like a, uh, like a roguelike in a way. So a roguelike alien experience. I'm ready for that. Hi, Spicy. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is definitely, we're going for like an ultimate badass style experience here. I'm ready to rock. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to move my uh, overlay real quick. <laughs> okay, overlay. <laughs> Hi, Stan! I'm surprised you're up this late. Okay. Oh! Okay, looks like we got basic gear. What are the classes? I forget. Gunner. Core skill of every marine. The gunner carries a rifle for range and a CQW for when the action gets intense. Frag grenades can disrupt mass foes and the overclock ability allows briefly override the safeties on their fire team's weapons, increasing the rate of fire. Okay. In addition to a standard rifle, demolishers operate heavy weapons. Ooh, smart guns, grenade launchers, and flame units. Impact rockets to break up mass attacks at range and a concussive blast wave. Turrets. Okay. Medical. Uplink spectrographs to reveal enemy positions and call in support drones that replenish ammo and enhance accuracy. Phalanx. Name for their collapsible shields which allow them to serve as mobile bunkers. As one arm and as one arm is needed to hold the shield up, they are armed with a handgun and CQW, both of which can be wielded with in one hand. When swarmed, they can trigger a point blank shock pulse to disrupt foes. Okay. It's like one AM and I took a day off for tomorrow's so today's my last shift. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Spicy. I'm glad you're gonna be able to relax a little bit, buddy. Okay, the Lancer sweeps through swarms of enemies with their penetrating particle lance. While this high-powered system recharges, they rely on a CQW and a heavy weapon such as a smart gun, grenade launcher, or flame unit. By triggering Onslaught, they can briefly maximize their firepower at the expense of their mobility. What should we do, chat? Oh, I like that the, uh, they call it pups for, uh, from, like, the Prometheus series. I'm thinking maybe Demolisher. Ooh. Oh, I, I just noticed that the, the Demolisher has the hardcore game symbol on it. That's kind of cool. Ooh, Aurora. So, I don't know much about all of this stuff. This must have been new, like DLC stuff. Ooh. That don't really look like gold, but okay. Hmm. Polarized blue. Let's see that. Ooh. Honestly, that actually looks pretty good, but a little distracting. Mars Splinter. Summer Solace. Venus. Topographic Jungle. Wayland Yutani Executive. Oh my god. Let's go with uh, the purple. I actually like the highlights. Wolf's head, Wayland Yutani. Okay. Building better worlds. Yeah, let's put that on the gun. Oh shit. Uh, no, I want to go. Ah, crap, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Really, can I? Mm. 
Nah, I, we need to put it in a funny place, chat, so. Yeah, right on the magwell. Wayland Utani, guys, building better worlds through superior firepower. A true colonist. Thank you for the lurk, Thunder. You beautiful friend. Air drums, air, f air fiddle. <laughs> hey, welcome, Stan. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I meant to say Arctic, but your names are both the same color on my screen. <laughs> welcome, Arctic. Happy to call you live. I'm going to have a damn long day. Oh, really? What's going on? Hydrate, posture check, stretch, hydrate, and another hydrate. So three hydrates, posture check. Yeah, and stretch. Thank both of you for the lurks. I really appreciate it. Okay, yeah, that's going to be one we have. Mimic a xenomorph. <laughs> Mimic a synth. Oh my god. Oh, that's sassy. I like it. <laughs> Hiya. Hail to the chief. Look into my eye. <laughs> that's a reference to Apone. That's cool. Um... Anti-personnel mines. And how about a, uh, a sensor turret? Yeah. Whoa, that is a bulky motherfucking suit. Seeks in synthetic maintenance. That's great. Now we are the working Joes. Honestly, I really like that. That is really puffy, but like really intimidating looking. <laughs> Bucket hat. Oh, gross. Parade dress. Pilot's helmet. Standard issue. Standard issue. Tactical. Ooh, that actually looks pretty dope. Salako cap. Ooh. Wayne the Jutani EVA suit. Ooh. That completes our look. <laughs> yeah, bitches. Wayne the Jutani drop suit. That is how we get kills and. I don't know. Chills? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but... Okay. The heirloom standoff. Oh, I believe we got that from a, uh... A, uh... DLC, too. I don't remember that being in the game. Whoa. One of your kid abilities is disabled at random. Experience and credits received are can, uh, increased by uh, one upon mission completion. Oh, so it's just a straight upgrade. Okay, that's cool. Are doubled from max ammo and oh. Tiger Lily, stop being strange. Enemies move faster, hit harder. They are much more difficult to stumble, and stuns only last last half as long. Oh, damn. Oh, we didn't customize our pulse rifle at all. The M4 1A2. Okay, so this is an update on the uh, Aliens pulse rifle then. <laughs> I love that emote modified. That's hilarious. What should our pulse rifle look like? Whoa. Oh. 
Grim Salvage. Oh, that looks cool as fuck. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> the humor. There they are. On the other end of the weapon. Oh, it's... It's on reverse. Well, that... Dan that uh, hampen, like, hampers the... Uh, the look of it. Hmm... Let's see. Uh, we'll just do the old creepy Wayland Yutani logo, like, like graffitied over top of the uh, Armat logo. If we can get it. How about right here? If we can. There we go. That looks fine. There. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that. One of the coolest machine gun sounds in all of sci-fi, bitches. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Herrera. Okay. Oh, Seekson's combat synthetics. Creepy. Still going through last mission's reports. I read slow. Okay. Maybe we don't get anything until we complete our first mission. I don't know. Priority one. Difficulty hardcore. Okay, so we have to play it on hardcore. Fuck me. Okay. Uh, Let's do this. Yeah, I know, synthetic teams. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Ponica, a Wayland Yutani scientist. Mount up, people. Mount up, Marines. We're about to experience hardcore with only AI teammates. I've never done something as dumb as this before. Well, wait a minute. We got a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data. I probably have. Center. He's not far in. Let's let's rock with this baby. First, we need a deck plan. Pull one off a terminal and chlorine extraction. Chlorine extraction. All right. Yeah, this does feel a lot like a uh, Sevastopol already. Okay. Huh. Just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Honecker. Oh, look who it is, guys. Fuck you. Would you like to ask me about Sevastopol safety protocols? Fucking piece of shit. Thank you for the lyrics, Stan. Right. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Give me a second. I got a deck plan. Backup generator is beyond Honecker's ping. We can kick it after we grab it. Our men should be in the junction ahead. Honecker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. <laughs> Hi, Glass. Welcome to a, a, a Aliens roguelike experience. We're on a hardcore. If we die, our character Shit, dies. Right here. High speed incoming. Get hot. Don't lock up. Way more than I expected. From behind. 
Hey, on the deck, on a crisp PDT chip. I think I handled that well. But why? This baby rocks. Gets her rocks off with her socks off. I like it. But how are you doing today, Glass? Any dumb parents you gotta deal with today? Oh, there's no ammo crate there. There used Doors to be. Shut. Sloppy okay. work. Guess Hanukkah went this way. Cover me, assholes. There we go. Looks like we're safe. Ish. <laughs> See that beta? That's how you do it. All me, baby. Just a colonial marine, and I'm looking for hey, a fight. I got an idea how to track down Honaker. Searching this whole barge would take too long. Movement. Tell you my idea mm. later. Fuck it, okay. This I mean, they're tough, but they ain't no Verasica, I'll tell you that much. The exits are sealed by Honaker, probably. Release the locks. And Glass, look. Look what we found. You always know a working Joe. Hey Paris, how are you doing, buddy? I was—I've been meaning to ask you that. I hope you're doing well. Last we talked, you were going through a little bit of a rough patch, and I hope you're doing okay. I want to make sure you're—you're you're good, buddy. Okay, good. Anyway, I'm thinking we can track the doctor using station logs. How are things going with your lady There's friend? The line just starboard of your position. Anything official yet? Just making small talk. If it is personal, you don't gotta tell me. Thank you, Herrera. I'm pretty sure I figured that one out. Oh, shit. Falling back, grabbing ammo. Grabbing ammo. Come on. Get some! Oh god, there's a lot of them. Zane, how are you doing? Just on a cleanup mission for, uh, uh, on Katanga Refinery for the United States Colonial Marine Corps. On behalf of Wayland Yutani, we're building better worlds. Hope you're doing fantasmic. I think if I activate this, there's going to be a drone that comes out. Okay. I'll always ask, buddy. Yep, drone! Damn big file. Hold the room. I knew there was going to be a drone. Special enemies show up as blue pulses on the mid- Oh, god. 
on the uh, I'll get Esther motion tracker. She's our battalion synthetic. Keep okay. moving out. Yeah! Our first special bitch down! Alright, Tiger Lily munching like uh, after mission. There's no active pause in this game, so I really have to be fo like on my A game. And we're on a permadeath playthrough. If we die, our character dies. So, Tiger Lily will get all treats that you guys redeem after this. Just keep track of them and let me know, okay, chat? Good. Thank you, Glass. Jeez, Louisa. Alright, hang on. I gotta grab some ammo. This, this ammo. bad bitch doesn't have a lot of ammo. Oh, I'm treating myself to you, my friend. You don't gotta worry about me. I'm on a diet right now, so I just I just took away the uh, the snack redeem. It don't mean I don't got no snack stuff. Posture check, stretch, and hydrating. Hear that? <sighs> Hear what? Somebody hears something, chat. Or Oh, a spitter, probably. Oh, what the hell? Red one. Never run into an acid spitting morph. Where did these come from? Okay. I forgot I had special powers. All right. Keeping an eye on the pulse try the the, the pulse tracker. The motion tracker. Well, oh, the I, data, you can I build up. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I do. I build up damage as I use my abilities and stuff. Oh, I accidentally fired that off. Prowler. Prowler? Where? Those are those red guys, and that means death. We're looking for a red clingy. Hey, spicy, that's not true. I'm just on a diet for health reasons. Spinning this up is gonna it's be nothing else. Heat. Whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Don't be don't be thinking like that about yourself, on. buddy. You're good just the way you are, I promise. I ain't, I ain't even just saying that either. We're gonna need some sentry deployed. Sentries. I can't be our only sentry. Sentry there deployed. We go. I got three sentries covering this side. And we're gonna put mines Time here. Pack. Patching up. Oh, come on. No. Oh. Alright. Who's ready for our first big holdout? Oh shit, they're coming this way. Come on, motherfuckers. Coming on this side now, fuck. Stop spitting on my turrets, motherfucker. A warrior? Where? Oh shit. Oh, I see him. He's a big guy. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah! Get some, motherfucker! Ultimate badasses, chat. We're the ultimate badasses. We'll send a follow-up engineering team to get that It's not kindness, power. just honesty. Believe me, I'm not that kind. Keep heading aft toward the core. I'm just honest. People often mistake it for kindness. Oh shit. Okay. You know, we melted that fucking warrior though. Once we broke his armor, that bitch was dead, chat. By the way, patching up. You know what? I should. I should. Oh shit. Okay, I should get that medical dose. Run back here. Rearming. Grab, grab more ammo and also grab this med kit because it's free. Okay. Let's go. It is pretty neat. It's a uh, Left 4 Dead style aliens game, basically. Oh. Shit, this is gonna get spicy. Hey, we have spicy. If it's gonna get spicy, then we're gonna have to protect spicy. Set up fields of fire, you guys. A spitter. Oh yeah, he's dead. Okay, cool. Oh, coming from behind us too. Pardon me. I have completed my analysis. Two weeks ago, the mainframe on Deck 41 was accessed. I believe by Dr. Honecker. Okay. Marines, head to the core lift. Big freight elevator goes all the way up the main tower. Alright. We're running low on primary, so we're running back if we can. Fuck, we can't. Okay. Then we're going to roll with our pulse rifle for a little bit. But yeah, I can't believe they name dropped one of our chat members. That's dope as hell. Oh, fuck. Get back here, coward! Are we good? Did we kill him? I don't think we got him. Where are you, you some bitch? There he is! Get dropped, wannabe Verasica! Mm. Glass is freaking out in chat, you guys. Keep her safe. Nah, we know that that was you, Glass. You don't have to be embarrassed. Watch the vents. Oh shit, I'm, I'm dry on ammo with that. Oh shit! We are in the fucking hornet's nest, you guys!
Okay. There's ammo right there. Uh, cover me! Ow! Oh. oh, God! Anything down here that we need? Scan the walls, Marines. Yep. Okay, looking around. Doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Wanted to be sure. You never know, you know. Bashi Tower. Yeah, it is. Look, it does say seeks in. That's cool. Oh shit. My nostalgia almost got me killed. Okay. Grabbing ammo. Let's roll. Why would you type nonsense? Because you're glass demon. You type nonsense when you're scared. We all know. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Can you guys cover me while I pour myself another cola? You guys should be okay, I think. Okay, okay, we're gonna... Alright. Pouring commencing. Look at that xenomorph brain goop on the floor. Gross. Alright, 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 alright. Rotating. I mean, while we're still near a uh, uh, ammo kit, I don't see why it wouldn't be a bad idea to refill my refreshments, you know? You can't fight a horde of xenomorphs on an empty stomach or on a dry throat. Oh! Alright game, got the message. You don't need to send bosses after me. Moving on. Jeez. Can you believe that, bitch? He sent, like, fucking prowlers after me. Chonaker, we're gonna find a scientist or a puddle of chunky marinara. I got a fool running. What the fuck is wrong with you, lady? <laughs> Rate my aim, chat. Rate my aim. Bypassing damage. Glass, have you not seen how many I've killed already? I'd say test oh. Help, but, you know, bugs. Guys, this is a Seeks and Synthetics core. Never a God, that's cool. Oh, look at Working Joe's. Let's go ask him about Sevastopol's safety protocols. Whoa, what? I don't think they have pretty good safety protocols. My aim is okay. All right, glass ain't impressed, I guess. We don't find this guy alive. I'm gonna kill him. You're not even here, bitch. Like. 
Don't you love it when people are mad on your behalf? It's like, man, this is stressful. Yeah, try Entrance being here. Side. I didn't call you a bitch. I was calling the game character a bitch. Why would I call you that, Glass? That doesn't even remotely make sense. Grabbing ammo. Patching up. Same deal as the generator. Expect little Easy friends here. to pop out all over when this turns on. Okay, you better be, because I would never call you that. Set up a perimeter, then hit the call button. Sentry deployed. Mine's out. Oh, jeez. All right, then. Let's rock! I stopped firing for like two seconds and they're already on us. Top side, spinner on the column. Where? Got it. This is hardcore and like. I'm not even using like an OP weapon. I'm just using level one gear. I'm surprised we're. I'm just surprised we're coasting as well. Oh shit! Never mind. Never mind. See no more for it. Just another minute. You got this. Sixty seconds. Oh, I killed a daily, I did a daily opportunity, though. I don't know what that daily quest was, to be completely honest with you. Give me all of the XP! They're not perfect organisms, all they are is experience points. Wow, did we kill them all with 10 seconds to spare? Guys, we killed- oh, well, no! Warrior! Oh god! I was so wrong! Oh, God. Reload! Why aren't you reloading? Cannot reload. Fuck. Okay. Patching up. Grabbing 
All right. Now I feel like we killed all of them. Enjoy the ride, Marines. Next stop, Hunnaker. Or his corpse, whatever. One point five times the experience and credits. Ooh, a precision break. Scripts, credits, nice. Got a rank up, a the class rank up. Pulse rifle and smart gun almost leveled up. We did pretty fucking good. I got two hundred and seventy-four xenomorph kills. Holy shit. Holy crap. <laughs> like, that's like a hive, like a small one, but that's, that's more than they were calling us on LV-426. Like, just get me on that planet and I'll clean them out. You're in Echo Company, Santos's platoon. Your boots untied. See to that. Okay, I thought it said see to my uh, superior. People don't want you? to talk to me. Outside of work, I mean. I'm not scary. I eat brains with a spoon like any other Intel operator. That, that, that's a joke. Okay. Guys, everybody is super weird. I'm sure it's a glorious day in the core somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I ain't here for chit chat, Marine. You got something to do, go do it. Oh, okay, well. I thought I had to talk to somebody, but I guess not. Like, jeez, assholes. Perks. Rifle training. Increases max ammo of rifles by 20% and their fire rate by 15 That's awesome! Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Demolisher heavy training. Increases max ammo of heavy weapons by 20 and their reload speed by 15 That is also awesome. Loud and clear. Oh. Oh, no. What does loud and clear do? Increases the attached ability's damage dealt by 20% and causes it to generate an additional stack of clear the room. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm not too worried about that. Still, that's really fucking cool. We earn stuff like that. Yay! A precision break. Did we get anything for the beast? No. Dang. Okay. I believe there's only her. Yep. Oh, cool. And the things we don't use, we get to stockpile. That's pretty fucking cool. Anyone else think that's cool? I think that's cool. We unlocked a new CQW. The submachine gun. Okay, but I don't use that class, so I can't use it. If I didn't keep the ship's stores balanced and we tried to go FTL, you know where- I think we've acquired a few things you'll find interesting. That's just as my okay. bathroom- Okay. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stashed in a hold somewhere. Because that would be wrong. Jeez, look at all these guns. They have a lot of weapons. Okay, so let's look at things that say rifle. Uh, it's lesser on both things, actually. But it's got more damage, I guess. 
fire rate is lower, reload time is slower, magazines by 10, max ammo is really reduced, weak point damage, god, what is, why is that even a thing then? Okay, what about, it says auto rifle, let's see. Um, uh, accuracy and stability are up, ammo's the same, magazine is better, reload speed is a significant slower. An increased fire rate and lower damage, though. We'll buy it. Just for having it. Hang on. Let's see. We're gonna buy both of these heavies. Okay. Pack grenades, rocket launcher, microburst. Let's do microburst. Uh, hey, do you have you any to a, cheat? Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no problem. But if it's legal, I'll need you to file requisition form 1348 or 1348 Mike. You can grab those off ship net. Okay. So let's check out our new uh, our new bastard guns. Let's let's see. Oh wow. Micro burst. Whoa. She don't even run out. God damn. Okay, micro burst other than not having the lock on feature is pretty significant and pretty nice. Okay. Let's see about the L-59 minigun. Again, I don't like that it doesn't have the lock-on feature of the smart gun. Damage is 134. Oh, uh, so it's it's way higher on everything except fire rate, magazine capacity, and max ammo. I get it. Okay, so the heavy pulse rifle. Oh, I'm sorry, I sneezed and I didn't have time to mute the mic. The heavy pulse rifle. Okay, let's try this one out. God, it's like a heavy bolter! God damn! That is just straight up like a Space Marine heavy bolter. The heavy launcher. The hell. I mean, they're all novel, but I don't think they have anywhere near the capability of the accuracy of the smart gun, you know? Because I feel like damage is, is good, and it's great, like, even, but if you're losing out on shots missed, then I'd rather have accuracy over damage, you know? Let's try this uh, other rifle. Whoa! Whatever this is, I love it! Look at the gun, it fires purple shells! Holy crap, or laser blasts. What the hell? The plasma rifle. Hell yeah! Alright, let's compare it. It's got better fire rate, obviously. Better ammo and magazine capacity. I'll, I'll try it out. You know, it, like, it's kind of neat. Um, 
Might as well keep us themed. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, I had something I wanted. Up. Oh, wait, no. Uh... Tactical opportunities. Oh, okay. So that's that was... 30 elite cents. That's a little intense. If you've got a all requisitions, come with free cornbread. I got a nice load piled in the back. Nobody eats that shit. Heard the new track by Left Up Well? Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo for. Let's see. Melee damage, don't even need reload speed and stability. Fire rate and stability. I want that. Yay, we got a barrel. Woo! We got fire rate and stability up. Oh, oh yeah, fire rate's up. Big time. All right. Priority one was done. How is the hardcore two? What? Higher hardcore tiers increase the damage and health of all critters slightly above the previous tier. XP and critters are slightly increased and some rewards are only available on higher tiers. I guess we replay it with the new... Uh... Yeah. I mean, it's Fire risky. This is a rescue mission. You're but I mean, Katanga, why not? A derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. Let's see what we can use to, uh. Armored enemies have twice as much armor. Jeez. No, no, thank you. They'll breed, you'll die. Xenomorph runners and maintenance sense spawn at an increased rate. Damn, okay. Unexpected strength. Whenever Xenomorph Runner maintenance sent their guard are about to spawn, there is a chance they will become stronger than normal. Whenever a Xenomorph Warrior spawns, it instead becomes a Xenomorph Praetorian. Oh my god. No. Oh, I forgot the... Uh, probably a couple of hours. I mean, I streamed way... I'm streaming way earlier than I normally do today. Because I had the office, and I thought, why not? We got shit, a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. Okay, First, note to self, we, we have a, a very specific set amount of time for the, uh, for the card selection screen. Love to be getting Just some kind of reward lights. for this, but... And yeah. maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Honecker. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Give me a second. I got a deck plan. Backup generator is beyond Honecker's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. Our also, I did read the, the um... I did Honecker, read the uh, novel the before, they, before this game. The one before this game takes Acid place. Damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. And I have to say, her saying Honecker rather than Honecker is really bother like bothering me. He should be right here. High speed incoming, get hot. Don't lock up. Way more than I expected. Where are they coming from? 
on the deck, Hanukkah's PDT chip. He cut it out. But why? I don't know if they, I don't even remember if they ever explained why he cut out his PDT. PDTs are how they located the uh, civilians in the aliens, like special edition. No, not even the special edition, just the uh, regular edition of the movie. Honaker, probably. Release the lugs. Okay. All right, we're doing pretty good. Anyway, I'm thinking we can track the doctor using station logs. There's a data line just starboard of your position. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting a better posture. Always keep supplied on ammo if you play these kinds of games. satisfying seeing the drone run away once it realizes that I'm the ultimate badass. I'll get Esther analyzing that. She's our battalion synthetic. Keep moving aft. Oh, what the hell? I'm not for... Uh, thank you for... Uh, uh, thank you for coming to the stream, Spicy. Oh shit, Shaisa, I gotta hydrate. Okay. I did a large, big hydrate, and I also will give Tiger Lily both of those treats. I forgot to give her the treat when we got back to the, the ship. I'll give her those treats once I'm able, chat. My bad. Colonial Marines. Not that. Short. That fight. Oh shit. I hate from a lore perspective on how we're fighting these on a ship like this. The whole reason you couldn't kill the xenomorphs in like alien isolation. Well one for the story, but like two for the fact that you can't kill a xenomorph on a space station. 
Because the acid would eat through the entire station. That's why they couldn't kill it with regular conventional, like, bombs or anything like that in the alien. Because just a drop of the facehugger's blood pretty much was enough to eat through, like, three decks of the ship. Well, yeah, it'll also be live tomorrow. Get the power up. Dynamo room's just ahead. I go live daily. up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Be ready for a fight when you switch on. I hope whatever you do tomorrow, Spicy, you have a great morning and a great afternoon. Because honestly, you're one of the best people on this entire platform. I say one of, chat, because you all are great. Sentry deployed. But I know for a fact, Spicy is a dope-ass person, and I'm pretty sure you all know that as well. Does not look impressed. That's her signature look of disapproval of a Coco. I forgot I could roll. Just wanted to send an email. You're funny. I know you did. I just also want to say Coco because you always call me Coco. Ah, uh, okay. I'll hydrate it after we clear this wave. Their queen is. They need to get a new one. Completed my analysis. Two weeks ago, the mainframe on deck 41 was accessed. I believe by Dr. Honecker. Marines, head to the core lift. Big freight elevator goes all the way up the main tower. Yeah, never say yes to thunder.
Oh, fuck. Don't you run from me! Don't you run from me! Where are you? Nah, it's okay, he's dead. I'm just, future reference, if you ever say yes, that means he's about to just destroy me with redeems. Yeah, suck it, big chap. <laughs> it's his goal to eventually drown me on stream. There it is. Oh well. Oh, hello. Hey Stan, don't you wish they had this gun in Fortnite? Just hold the trigger and lock on and then you just you just don't even have to worry about the problem, it'll just auto delete itself. It's Rin Rin, how are you doing? Routing you through the refinery core. I hope you're doing better today. Regardless, I hope you I hope you will have a good time watching the stream. We're playing Aliens Fireteam Elite right now. Yeah, I figured you probably felt like shit, but hey, we can like I said, we can like roll with that. We've all when, felt like that uh, before when we here. Chonker, we're gonna find a scientist or a Ugh. Look at it squirm. Gross. But yeah, we're playing a uh, wave-based shooter set in the Aliens universe. And we're playing it on a permadeath game mode, so if we die, that's it. But, you know, bugs. Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. Motion you eliminated. There. You still good, Marines? <laughs> Don't distract me, please. Posture check, stretch, and hydrate. I forgot that there's no point in pausing it because it'll just blind me. Alive, I'm gonna kill Hydrating. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Oh fuck. I almost died to a Renkunai 3. Okay. Ugh. That's the lift. Entrance on the far side. Same deal as the generator. Expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. Elevator 17 decks up. It'll take a while to show. Oh, fuck. They're blocked, so I can't do anything. Set up a perimeter, anymore. then hit the call button. Patching up. Eight kids here. Rearming. Okay, everyone back. Calling elevator. Bugs inbound. They are right on you.
We've got this team. Murder indeed on a like species level. Loaded if you got it, people. Extermination Company. We don't leave a single bug standing. Satisfaction guaranteed. Our tech is state of the badass art. I still got that pool open. You figure we'll find Hanukkah in one piece or like a million? Okay. Ooh, travel light and some requisition credits. We didn't find a hidden cache. I didn't know we were looking for one. Almost leveled up with a smart gun. That's gonna take a lot to Monica level up. Is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Hi, Lily. You got two treats here. I didn't forget everybody. <laughs> oh, she's excited. She's like nuzzling my leg now. Yeah, no, baby dog. I know you love your jerky. Come here. Well, that's three. Okay, sit. There's one. Good girl. <laughs> you know there's more. There's two. Good girl. Here's three. Good girl, Tiger Lily. You're so well behaved. Look how pretty you are. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Oh, yeah. I need to take a quick bathroom break. Yeah, it's okay. She loves it. And I know you love Tiger Lily. She loves you all, too. She literally has become super happy about the streams now that I started giving her treats. <laughs> uh, give me one quick minute, everybody. Oh, wow, guys. How badass are we? We make up over half the entire viewers of the active viewership for Aliens Fireteam Elite right now. Just us. <laughs> We're bringing life back to this game, baby. All right, hang on. I got to go take a quick uh, bathroom break, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> that we are, Zane. That we are. Also, literally ever since you became Zane, 
like versus dog every time in chat your name is like dark like highlighted orange it's super cool people are questioning you about anime nice like in a good way or like <laughs> like in a bad way Look, tell Herrera it takes anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo four. Just now, snaggly lady. I call her weird names all the time just to make her confused. I love that dog. Stability and reload speed is pretty good, guys. So I need an armature and a large muzzle. So, let's look at large muzzles. Tanker, weak point damage, stumble chance, effective range. Effective range, handling, and weak point. I think this one. Damn. Alright. Do we have any... Yay! Okay. You're winning the argument. Hell yeah, I'm Thunder. I'm not big on chatting up the... All requisitions come with free cornbread. I got a nice load piled in the back. Nobody eats that shit. Alright, and then we want the stabilizing armature. Yeah, baby! We're, we're customizing... our... gun. Oh, that looks so much cooler! Look, it's triangular. Now it's dope. I got a 90 on stability and almost a nine, like a, almost 100 on accuracy, you guys. Look at how perfect this is. And I also love that, like, the, uh, the ammo says building better worlds. I think that's really fucking funny to me. Yeah. Let's cover it in blood. Yeah. Because this bad bitch has seen combat. Woo! Wow, nothing for this? Okay. I suppose we didn't use it much, but still. Okay. Let's go back. And I believe we only have to complete this one on... Oh, wow, there's four. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Let's see if we can do it on, uh... On the Fire next difficulty team, this tier. This is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. Unexpected strength. Okay. Yeah. That's fine for a tactical cam. View the world through the lens of a tactical camera. Robot Carnival. Can I be used in Giant's Earth Mission 1? Sure. I'm ready. So now we have actual combat synthetics deployed. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. Let's kick some ass. Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. First, we need a deck plan. Pull one off a terminal and chlorine extraction. Who's ready to kick some synthetic ass? Just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Honecker. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me a second. I got a deck plan. Backup generator is beyond Honecker's ping. Oh god! Kick it after we grab him. Our man should be in the junction ahead. Not what I expected! Patching up. <sighs> what the hell?
I did not expect him to be right behind that door. That was a jump scare. Honecker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Acid damage. Not encouraging. Shoot. Continue your sweep. I'm curious what the question is. Never have I ever what, my friend? Yes, I have. Have you? High speed incoming. Get hot. Get some, Marines. Way more than I expected. Watch the route in. What game if I may ask? Expect so many. Hey, on the deck, Hanukkah's PDT chip. He cut it out. But why? Doors welded shut. Okay. Sloppy work. Guess Hanukkah went this way. Played it and could have won another game with them. True. Searching this whole barge would take too long. I could see that. Yeah. It's not a game for everybody. That's for sure. Incoming. Ah, oh, shit, synthetics. Ask me about Sevastopol safety protocols. Or, you know, tut tut. Oh, right in my face. Probably. Release the locks. Oh my god! I'm thinking we can track the doctor using station locks. I found a data access point, but it's further in. Concentrate on That was actually a scary up. team of synthetics. Alright. Shit. Oh. Okay. Different location. No, you still haven't opened the game yet? Oh. Well, then why not try it? I've heard it's okay. Acid in one bug. Where did these come from? A friend told me to play it with him. Also, not enough space. Yeah, okay. Well, well, I'm just saying, like, if you ever feel like you regret it, just try it sometime. If you don't like it, it'll just take a little then while to reinstall ahead. what you deleted. Kind of like hanging out with a friend. Just pick a day, plan it. Try it out, see if you like it, and like if you don't, then just get rid of it, you know? This 
You have to get something for what you used to get it, you know? Whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Be ready for a fight when you switch on. Okay, you bought it on Steam. Okay, I got it. I thought you had a physical copy. This thing's been idle a long while. It's gonna take time to movement. Sentry deployed. Oh, hello. Oh, I hear them too. God, I love blowing apart synthetics. It's so satisfying. Grabbing ammo. Like, I cannot describe it. It's just a wild sensation. It's like, yeah. Suck it, not a real person. It's like deleting heresy. Hell yeah, work on that art. Thank you for the lurk. Right, no great ways to fight right now. The data access I mentioned is just ahead. We'll see if Hanukkah's left any tracks. I got Esther standing by to analyze the logs. She's our battalion synthetic. 
Hello, Marie. Shit. It is a pleasure to work with you. Hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Access point is to the right, through the door. I do like how the mission changes a little bit. That's kind of neat. I don't remember if it did that in the original version of this game. Oh god! You're in a funnel of death, synthetics! Masses. Grabbing Did you see those guys? Just chilling in a funnel when I have a lock on machine gun. <laughs> yeah! Post it in the Discord when you can, man. We all love your artwork. Running a bypass. Yep. Oh god, synthetics! Reloading. Whoa. Pardon me. Sick roll, Two dude. Weeks ago, the mainframe on deck forty one was accessed, I believe, by Doctor Honecker. Head to the core lift. Big freight elevator goes all the way up the main tower. Oh, God. Still, Ren, we love redos just as much as we love originals, you know? When we 
Maybe Chonaker, we're gonna have to ID by his blood or by his teeth. I, I got a pool running. I don't like this lady on the... On the combo, I was gonna say. I'd say test the echo, but, you know, bugs. Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. See? Told you, Ren. Patching up. Okay. Same deal as the generator. Expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. Elevator 17 decks up. Take a while to show. Set up a perimeter, then hit the call button. Okay. Hell yeah, what'd you eat for dinner, Glass? You didn't miss much, we're just uh, getting significant like XP from replaying this mission with more enemies and stuff. And we've got a uh, synthetic team from Six and Synthetics hunting us down. Because there's like challenge modifier cards, so... The synthetics from Alien Isolation are chasing us, but they have guns this time. Chinese? Ooh, like, what did you have? Got a spinner up on the column. Cashew chicken and low name. Ooh. Air shaft, right side. Shit. Fuck. Oh shit! Grabbing ammo. ammo. Okay, okay. Reloading. Oh yeah, I gave her two. Well, actually three, because Ren gave her one too.
Okay, no good. Yeah. I still got that pool open. You Did not want to risk it for some extra XP. Or, like a million. <laughs> Bro, like you sensed arson. Three thousand credits. That's kind of lackluster compared to what I was hoping for, but you know, whatever. Hey, we got a smart gun rank up. Woo! Let's go, motherfuckers! You all rock. Okay. All right. So. Effective range has gone up. Nice. Okay. So. Magazine. Okay. Now it's just the appearances we have unlocked. Okay. Look, tell Herrera it takes this stuff a while to ferment. Herrera didn't send you, did she? Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no problem. But if it's legal, I'll need you to file requisition form 1348 or 1348 Mike. You can grab those off ship net. Your weapon is instantly reloaded after killing any foe above fodder rank? Oh my goodness. Damage from acid pools and all other environmental hazards are reduced. Ooh, thirty percent more damage to enemies that are grabbing uh, allies. We're gonna do jackpot because that's really helpful for a machine gunner like me. So we're gonna go. We still haven't gotten that. That's a little upsetting. No, but no, go there. Nothing. Okay. Modifiers. Radius of an ability. Recharge speed of an ability. That's not bad. Damage of an ability. Okay. Against reach. Charge. Okay. We don't need rifles so much, so we're gonna go like that. Quick charge to our micro rockets. And we'll add enhanced damage. Cause really our machine, like our rifles only for like when shit goes south anyways. So yeah. What do you mean it looks like I could use some help? Well, have you know I'm doing just fine. Oh, okay, you're singing. Got it. All right, mission two, hardcore one. Hanukkah is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission hasn't changed. Find him, get him out alive. Got the magic point through a pipe bomb and boom goes the dynamite pipe bomb. Awesome, Zane. I'm glad. I'm happy for you, buddy. You're doing just as much explosive, explosive uh, horde killing as we are. Honaker, you out there? Staff Sergeant Herrera, Colonial Marines. He's in a radio dead zone. Patch into the local network.
Patching into local comms. Honecker, you read? Oh look, it even looks yeah. like the aesthetic of yeah, the alien isolation Listen, game. To get to me, you'll have to go through the network security room. Okay, network security. So let's go. Ah, crap. Fuck. I thought I heard something, too. And you're Batman and you're back? Well, I guess Batman returns, then. I down the tell her to, tell her to come get some, Glass. I hate the staff sergeant in my ear. She's annoying. 123 swarmer ears. That's a number of ears that I would not expect Zane to have, but you know, to each their own. We've all got our uh, interesting hobbies. Rearming. Hardened electroshock turret. Okay, well. How about right here? Sentry deployed. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait, xenomorphs heading to you. Let us handle it. I mean, whatever, whatever you gotta tell yourself to sleep at night, there's Zane, it's okay. Yeah, so what he's talking about is the events of the book Aliens Infiltrator, which I did read before I played this game, so, you know. It was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be for a game tie-in novel, you know? Very, very satisfied with it. to blow. Oh god.
And the gray striped xenomorph he's talking about is his girlfriend. No android left standing. Ever. Not Seekson's androids. So, uh, the halls between you and me are 120 below zero, so... So... Michigan temperatures, basically. Grabbing ammo. Uh, you'll have to cut the refrigerant to reach me. I, um... Broke the valve. Tossed the wheel in a side room. Sorry. Hear that? Alright, not this room. Clear. Got the valve. That's it. Just attach it to the valve in the pump room. Rearming. Hell yeah, Punsby. Enjoy that swimming, but take your take it easy on that leg, okay? Oh, do I have to Theory, cool. Dear synthetics, you are becoming hysterical. Tut tut. I am so cathartically enjoying killing the working Joes. Let's roll, Marines. It's already getting red hot in there. Move fast, fire team. Is that 
Okay. to the server core. That's right, Monica. Will she come back? Who cares. We're gonna hold position. Just walking because it helps with the pain. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're taking it easy at least. I worry about you guys, you know? Grabbing ammo. Comes with the territory. I don't think she's gonna spawn again. Time to get out of here. Army. The room I'm in, 
It's only supposed to be opened by company admins. Unlocking takes a couple of blocks of dropping. Hope you can... Good luck. They're coming. We rang the dinner bell! Gray stripe. Ain't no custom Zeno's about to get up in this place. Don't ask me where those words came from. They are not my normal lingo. Fucking killing us. Burst rifle. Okay. Almost leveled up with a smart gun just from this mission. God damn, we're good. minute you guys I gotta take a quick bathroom break between the missions give me one quick minute
I'm back. That's true. Also, welcome back out of the ads glass. Thank you for supporting the channel. Just chillax, you guys. Let's just relax. There's four concussive rockets, larger explosion. There's Twelve smaller rockets to explode in a fire of all the damage enemies. It was much way of trajectory. Increase the attachment of this damage dealt by 20% and cause it to generate additional. This one. Oh, dang. Okay. Um. Hey, there we go. Oh, hush you. I don't know why they're playing I'm not like big on 60s up the seductive okay. jazz right now. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built to have a spare parts stash in the hold somewhere. We got some sentry guns. That ought to help with the future of, uh... This campaign. All right, we found Honaker. Now we're gonna rock well, the we found rock the block. Now we've got to get him safely back off. to the Endeavor. Lieutenant Co will bring our dropship into one of the refinery hangars. Escort Honaker down to us for pickup. His safety's on you. Complete the mission without anyone going down. Okay. Experience gains. Oh, okay. Cool. Hidden knowledge. I do like double XP. We found Honaker. Now we gotta. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I read that. I, I heard that just a second ago. I automatically jump to read stuff sometimes and then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Follow me, Tim. Look at Tim with his no, tiny take little a side pistol. Arm. Fire team, Honaker don't have any VA suit. Get him to our dropship in one piece. Core shafts flooded. Must be those leaks we saw topside. Here they come. Forward contact. I don't know who I'm saying that to. I'm glad you gave me that pistol. Dude, you didn't even fire a bullet. That's a good Star Trek show from what I've heard, Below Decks. Down, eight flights. Subdeck 3A. Eight flights of stairs? You fucking... Who do you think I am? Me with the gymnast? I ain't a fucking built for this. Oh, God! 
Definitely not built for that either. Fucker. He held the puta was uh, said in Resident Evil 4. Don't know what it means exactly, and I'm not gonna make a guess because I don't want to sound stupid. Like, Asta! He held the puta! was like one of the things that the uh, parasites would scream. Water shouldn't be toxic, but I wouldn't soak in it. They're xenomorphs, Timothy. When aren't they in the ducks? Oh, shit. All ass, everybody. Come on, Tim. I got your back, buddy. Oh, thank you. Hey, you actually did help, Tim. All right. Well, Tim, we're about to be a lot more fucked because I've lost almost all the ammo in my main. Now we're down to primary. Alright, go, 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 fire team. Don't got time for this Patching shit. Up. Oh, sh Patching up. Thank God, stuff. Me with the fox Not needs again. stuff. All right, all right. Loading. There we go. Okay. That woke some friends. Like Barney kind of friends, or nope, Zeno kind of friends. I'll posture check, stretch, and hydrate when I can. Glassola. Glass Amiga. Glass Dima. I see more. Left side.
got power, but they're locked down. Esther? Eight kids here. A 16 million digit cipher. Grabbing ammo. Perhaps check the logs of the maintenance synthetics? Yeah, go. Okay. Posture check. Stretch and hydrate. Ah, okay, that was done on the fly. Go, 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 go. Come on, give me your memory. Accessing. I have the code for you. Thank goodness. Yep, right over there. That was actually a good use of a good strategic use of my ability. Just like that been oh. up. That's not good. Okay. Patching up. We're not leaving until that thing's dead. Yeah! Take that, Veroska wannabe! For those of you who probably didn't watch the Alien Isolation videos to get that reference, chat named uh, the Xenomorph that hunts us in that game, Veruska Gertrude Mayday. And obviously that's a drone type Xenomorph, so obviously the runners aren't going to be wannabe Veruskas. The runners are more like imps. Would you agree, Glass? They don't have the dorsal tubes. And they're just constant, like, swarms. Race. Don't worry, Glass. A collectible illustration will be coming out shortly of her. All for your amazing pleasure. Emma's low. Clear. Clear. Callier. Okay. All right. Party, this is your pickup. Beginning dropship approach to the refinery. No response from Hangar Delta's ALS. Diverting to Epsilon. Another swarm rolling on your position. Ah! Uh. This is Flight Tower Me with a Fox. You are denied landing, Xenomorphs. Here by permanently grounded. Keep moving, fire team. Grabbing ammo. In case you haven't noticed, they're bleeding me dry here of ammo, so I gotta make sure I'm stocked up. Staff Sergeant. Uh 
logistically, like, well, not logistically, but, like, realistically, I mean, that would have killed Honaker. Just being doused his entire body in Xenomorph blood. Hold ass, Marines. Don't you wish we had this? We would never have been able to name Verasica Verasica if we had this. I just deleted her from a distance. That would have been great. And TSA is really up in our safety standards, aren't they? Huh. Is that all of them? Can you shut up? <laughs> and not curse us? Things. What happened here? Wayland Yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive, then eggs back down for experiments. They bred Xenos. What did you think that Wayland Yutani was doing? Not only is she annoying, but she's Ambush. dumb. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, move, gotta move, move, gotta move, gotta move, move, move. you'll prep the hangar. Okay. Start depressurization when you're ready. Grabbing ammo. When you hit that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Doc, you boarding? No. No, I want to help. Out here. Ceiling ducks. Yeah, let's rock, glass. All right, here we go. It's a big room. It's I got take time. five machine guns, oh, including me. Here come the bugs. Keep them off us. Offline your cell phone.
Reloaded. I don't know what the fucking android is doing, but he keeps running in my line of fire. Oh, I released at the wrong second. Sure, party. Pressurize the hydraulics for the bay doors. Axios! Controls are below the landing deck. Okay. Okay. Oh, God! Okay. Why did you just let that happen, the Honaker? Uh, I don't know where the fucking. Uh. Still seeing no pressure on the bay doors. I don't know how to get underground. Still seeing no pressure on the bay doors. Yeah, okay, lady. Shut up. Where the fuck am I supposed to go here? Anyone going to hit the hydraulics? Oh, okay. Oh my god, no! Is there any health around here? Safety interlocks are still red on my board. Um, Now's our best chance. Welcome back to hell. Safety interlocks disengaged, resuming cycle. Fire team, more Xenos inbound. They don't want us leaving. Are you fucking insane right now, game? Why are there two warriors? Oh my god. No! I'm waiting to see if there's any special ones that are gonna fuck up my day. Can you get to Pryfly or are we stuck here? 
You know, she could be a lot less of a bitch about me saving our lives, you know? Chad! Oh my god, yes! Alpha, you fucking rock! Oh god, no! Get off of me! Asses in seat, show party, flip and slide, and keep it in. Remember to tense your legs. Oh my god, that was legit scary at the end there. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so... Oh, the euphoria. Oh, we could have ended our whole playthrough right there. Oh my god, Alpha, you fucking chat of an android. Don't be a beta male, be an alpha male like Alpha. Oh my god, but not like an alpha male like a frat guy kind of alpha male, those suck. Holy crap! Oh, uh, hang on, I gotta just... <sighs> Let me just take a minute to just process what the fuck just happened. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, baby, that was scary. Oh, hang on. <sighs> <laughs> oh, don't you feel it? The euphoria. Other Wayland Yutani survivors on the surface of LV-895 search the caves west of Paula Station. We'll leave no one behind. Uh, and do I have to be a Marine right now? Blech. Okay, let's go buy some uh, supplies then. Whew. If I didn't keep the ship stored... Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no problem. But if it's legal, I'll need you to file requisition form 1348 or 1348 Mike. You can mm. grab those off ship net. Remember to take your combat stims before deployment. It is in your interest to maximize the odds of return. Ugh, I've been having dreams about Whale and Yutani coming after me. That's one of the better dreams, actually. The worst? Look, tell her okay, takes us to um... the wild from the... I read you. Let me check what I've got in the back channel. Challenge cards. Now, 
Now we've got enough cards. I just bought an entire Pokédex worth of cards. Alright. That's like... Oh, challenge cards. Okay. Players deal 20% less damage, have 20% less health, abilities take 20% longer, and the it takes 20% before my coffee. Oh my god. Credits received are double. Okay, that's not bad. Weak enemies take reduced damage, strong enemies take increased damage. An even playing field. Okay. It's not terrible. Your weapons have three times the chance to stumble an enemy. I like that. Full shares. Credits received by are three. Ooh. Your health is doubled. That's pretty fucking nice. You take twice as much damage. Oh boy. Mission completion grants no experience but 250% credits. Oh. Weapon handling is greatly increased. Okay. Your weapons have three times the much as much recoil. Okay, just me and my guns. Uh, let's see. And a team with only synthetic capabilities can put the mission without any member of the team going down. Lonely perfection. Okay, um... Maybe we've gotten demoralized. Powerful enemies are considerably weaker. Nice. That's dope. Out of the shadows. Xenomorph runners are stealthed and nearly invisible. What?! That's awful. Plus ultra. Enemies and players move faster but deal less damage. Ability duration is reduced, but ability recharge, revive speed, stamina regain, ammo capacity, fire rate, and reload speed are increased. Yikes. Your weapons recoil in the opposite direction. That would be a nightmare. Player weapons may now critically strike for additional damage. However, all weapon stats are rebalanced to make them faster and less damaging per shot. Prototype weapons, huh? Retro cam. View the world through the lens of a low resolution camera. Experience pixelated screen effects with a dim backlight. Nice. Weapon spread increases at 20% normal, but maximum spread is doubled. Okay. Player melee attacks deal 250% more damage. Jesus. Increased experience and credits. The first hit on each enemy is ignored. I mean, that's not so bad. Teams of 3.5 Wayland Utani Sims appear to assist players throughout the mission must be used. Teams of W5 Wayland Utani Sims appear to assist players throughout the mission must be used on campaign missions, cannot be used in Giants in the Earth Mission 1. Xenomorph runners and maintenance sense spawn at an increased rate. They hunt in pairs. Elite enemies are spawned in pairs. Whenever a Xenomorph Warrior is spawned, it, bec it instead becomes a Praetorian. Jesus. Players take no damage from ground hazards. That would be nice. Um, each pathogen runner, husk, and popper spawns with one random modifier. They may have doubled health, move 33% faster, or immune to stumbles. Pathogen missions only. Enemies can be stumbled and have increased movement and damage resistance. Player weapons deal increased weak point damage. Abilities deal twice as the uh, 2x damage and last 2x as long, but recharge speed is halved. Okay. Is this one? Okay. Players receive 15 damage each time they kill an enemy, but every 10th enemy slain heals the killer and all allies for 75 campaign missions. Oh my god. That's horrible. So, I'm trying to think about what would be a good one to do. I think we got him demoralized would be a good for like a finale mission. Hmm. What do you think, Glass?
have their fire rate halved, but their damage doubled. Jeez, okay. Um, hmm. I, all damage dealt by your fire team is increased by 25%. I think that's a good one for an end mission. Uh, players and enemies deal 50% increased damage. Hmm. I think for now, either excessive force or, let's see... When no allies are in, you lose 20... Okay, no. Maybe we got him demoralized, but that's also pretty good for a... Uh, excessive force, you said? Excessive force it is. All right. Three times the chance to stumble an enemy. All right. Thank you, Glass. You're a gem. Marines, we're heading down to LV-895. The Weyland Yutani surface lab was overrun by Xenos, but there may be survivors. The closest shelter is the mountain caves to the west. You repel into the caverns for search and rescue. Have confidence when you pick glass. Have confidence. Come on. It's no fun if I'm the only one having fun, you know? Again. Okay, now I need to go here and plug this in. Hang on, guys, I'm just plugging my phone in. I use it as a second screen to see what you guys see. Check your fire. Remember, we're looking for friendlies. Check your fire. Remember, this for friendlies. Is a cave. It's block construction. A company bunker, maybe. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm talking to she can't hear. If Xeno spread this far from Hala Station, they'll be after any survivors. Get moving. A lot of Wayland shit down here. Some kind of auxiliary base, fallback position. Fuck. Uh, this way? This way. Nope, I was thinking maybe they were secrets. Oh, God! Blood was a great sign on a rescue mission.
sorry about so many ads, Glass. I don't know what's happening. It's not saying that there's an ad break scheduled or anything on my end. Ah, oh, fuck. Earlier suggest assets from a ballistic ah. Oh yeah, I forgot that they can climb ceilings. Nice one, team! I dodged out of its way and then they blew it up. That's teamwork. Hey, hey Glass, you wanna know something pretty cool? This whole campaign that we're on right now, like these next two chapters on this planet, they're inspired by the uh, the film Prometheus because they're connected to it. Catching up. Eight kids here. So don't worry for any of you who haven't seen that movie or don't remember much about it or never got any kind of info. When I find things that they're going to explain, I will explain in detail what they're talking about to keep us all on an even playing field and in the loop. I try to provide that kind of environment for my streams, so I hope that it helps a little bit. Whoa, careful. Seals loose. What the hell? I'll have Esther dose you with anti rats later, just in case. <laughs> You're trespassing on Wayland Utani property. This is the Colonial Marines. You from Fala Station? Yes, I'm Security Chief Cynthia Rodriguez. You're in danger here, Marines. Yeah, no kidding. We're here to rescue you. Do that. Get fucked, Prowler. Oh, okay. That was super creepy, though. The door just loading in auto, like, just without you knowing that there was anything back there, it just opens up. But yeah, so, uh, Prometheus takes place a couple of decades before Alien takes place. And Alien takes place like five or six decades before Aliens. So there are significant time jumps, and usually the books are a lot better about, like, clearing it up 
than the movies are. Because with the movies, you usually gotta deal with the uh, Ridley Scott and his ego. Because good filmmaker, Rodriguez, terrible the ego. Of the Colonial Protection Act will be evacuating survivors. Our position is secure. I recommend you withdraw. Amber. Understood, ma'am. Be ready to receive us. And remember what I told you when we, uh, like, were on the ship from the first alien? The pilot of those spaceships are called engineers. And they make biological, like, weapons and stuff like that. And so they have this, like, pathogen that, like, alters the genetic structure of anything it touches. And it's not even in, like, the alternate, like, like, uh canonicity events and stuff do we know for sure what made the xenos because it's suggested that they're non like or like a non naturally evolutionary species by like almost every android that examines them because they're just too perfect so it's like it's speculated that this uh, pathogen that the like forerunners of mankind had Kind of was responsible making, like, for making the xenomorph. And there were cut sequences in Prometheus to have it link more directly to Alien and Aliens. That showed, like, everybody who got infected with it slowly turned into what, like, looked like a xenomorph. But they never so went with that because the studio didn't want any kind of connection to it. Yeah, as you guys could probably not tell, I'm a huge fan of the expanded alien universe. But yeah, so like a lot of these temples do have a striking similarity to Yaucha temples, which Yaucha are the uh, the hunters from the Predator franchise. And so there's also some kind of like mystical, like, did they know about each other with like the Yaucha and the engineers? It's pretty cool. And in the last story that Dark Horse made before Disney acquired uh, the comic book rights and gave them to Marvel, the com like they re released this comic book series called like uh, Fire and Stone that featured Alien Promethe like Aliens Prometheus Predator AVP. So it was like super cool. Not here to steal your office staplers, Rodriguez. Give me time to contact the home office for guys. Oh shit, my dog is outside of the office. I don't know how she got out there. Hang on. Oh no, she's not. No, uh, no, hey, get back in here. You little sneak, you're not getting out of here. Tiger, get back in here. 
No, oh, you know what? Fine. You want to be outside? Be outside. <sighs> oh, thank you, Glass. I like to think so, anyways. Perhaps that was by design. Hang on, I gotta make a text. Sorry about that. Oh, I should probably grab ammo anyways. Rearming. Patching up. Oh I, I like the echo. Aid kits here. Yep, another alien beam. Hi, Cairo. This is Aliens Fireteam Elite. And this one is all, it's not a survival uh, horror, it's a wave shooter. No, we play as Colonial Marines game. saving the day, basically. And right now we're on a planet called LV-895, which means Life Viable 895. And we're looking for signs similar to like the movie Prometheus, which was a Ridley Scott film connected to aliens. But yeah, welcome. Thank you for popping in. I'm sorry, I was, I think I popped into your stream earlier. I can't remember if I did or not. Pretty sure I lurked. I might be misremembering. I had a busy day. I was trying to lurk on as many of my fellow streamers as possible. There, controls on the overlook. Get that bridge. Yeah, this one. All you really need to do, in my recommendation, is play as this class. Like, hold aim and then hold down the fire button, and it'll oh, like I'm doing that right now, and it'll only fire when a xenomorph like enters the target lock-on. So like it's super, super simplistic and you get a motion tracker that tells you where everything is. So if you had a couple of friends or like, like a significant other or like sibling, it's a pretty fun game to play together. Because teamwork makes the dream work, but I'm just playing on solo to make it a little bit more challenging because I'm on the, like the permadeath game mode. Yeah, it's actually three player co-op. It's supposed to be kind of like Left 4 Dead. Ooh, Tiger Lily Munch. I will give her a snack when she's taken out and I finish this mission, man. Thank you. I'm playing as the heavy class. Oh, you didn't miss much, Sten. Just uh, made it planet side. I almost died on my permadeath run. And then we just are just wiping out a whole population of xenomorphs on this planet. Hell yeah. Chopati, I drop on my next pass. I, I am actually going to be playing after I beat this game on the permadeath game mode. I am actually going to be playing Dark Descent completely. And then I'll be completing uh, Alien vs Predator, the 2010 Xbox 360 game that's backwards compatible. I'm just, I'm on I kind of like a playthrough of the entire video game franchise. Because I'm trying to, like, do as much with this franchise before the new Alien movie comes out. Kind of 
sort of ride that trend, but also have a great, dis uh, great Dark Descent sounds like a horror movie. It is a uh, horror survival real-time strategy game. So you're pointing and clicking and telling the Marines where to go, what to do, and you that's as much control as you have. You're the overseer of the operation, and they're the Marines, Glass. So it's going to be more like a horror movie than this game, for sure. I'm not sure this guy is going to make it. Not much I can do for him at this point. And also, I'm glad I got to lurk on your stream, because you're actually one of my favorite streamers as of late, so I'm glad I got to support you at least a little bit. I was pretty much doing nothing but hard work. <laughs> yeah, right, Glad? I knew you'd get that reference. Nope. Ah, uh, bitch. But yeah, a huge thank you to everybody. Even lurkers and all of you who watch this and, like, don't speak up and stuff like that. I appreciate all of you, and you guys cannot believe the amount of support that you've given me and the platform you've given me and how much it has changed my day-to-day -day life. Like, uh, for instance, I, I, less than a year, like, it's been less than a year so far, and I'm already at almost 400 followers on Twitch. I didn't think that that would be possible until I was, like, five years in. Because I thought I was going to be one of those, like, nobody cared, so they just, like, only ever, like, occasionally follow kind of streamer. So I was, re I'm really shocked that you guys, like, like my channel as much as you do. Even on YouTube, I was surprised that that got over 100 subscribers in less than a month. So it's it's super gratifying to know I'm not a uh, like annoying person and that you guys actually like my content. So just, I just wanted to say thank you and it's not lost on me that each and every one of you, all 391, have just given me a huge chance in platform to do Let's what I could, what we're getting into. like, do what I can do, and be happy about it, you know? So thank you. Okay, I was like, there's no audio for a minute. Alright, let's see what we've unlocked for our weapons here. Uh, new muzzle. Honestly, fire rate is way more important on this. Yeah, way better. Oh, I actually got some more things for the smart gun. Oh, I unlocked a new smart gun. The Vulcan. Oh, it's a flamer! Okay. Heavy flamer. Continuous fire. As dope as that is, I think we're going to stick with the smart gun because that's just, it's... Come on, this, this little baby puts out the work, you know? If I didn't keep the ship's stores balanced and we tried to go FTL, you know where we'd be? Hmm? All requisitions come with free cornbread. I got a NAS load piled in the back. Nobody eats that shit. I can't get anything here. Alright. Give me one minute to just make sure I can take care of my dog and get everything I need for my uh, refills on my drinks and stuff like that. And if you guys have to bounce or have to, uh, like, Lurk and run, be...
I'm back, everybody. Thank you for waiting patiently. Tiger, look at me. Here you go, doggle dog. Good girl. Whew. Boy, I tell ya, chat. Oh man, it feels nice to not have a really sore back today. I went to the uh, chiropractor yesterday, and then also had a uh, a doctor's appointment with my uh, actual like doctor and surgeon and stuff like that to get all of my back stuff checked out. Whew, it's so nice. They said it's obviously not going to be permanent. I got to come back for more spine stuff and then more chiropractic care and like all kinds of. They've got me on all kinds of new like stretches and exercises and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's it's a lot of change and a lot of work, but any and all things that can help my back just even a little bit to not be in agonizing pain, I'm all for, you know? In fact, I normally don't want to do this when I'm live, but I'm going to have to turn on the, like, oscillating fan in here because it is like 90 degrees today and it's absolutely horrid temperatures for somebody who's born in the north. So give me one minute here and I'll be right with you. Oh come on. I really don't. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. Like, I am sorry, guys, but if you could feel this office, <laughs> I'm sure you would understand. I know, thankfully, I know most of you who watch this on YouTube probably don't watch to this point. Only a couple of you watch the whole thing. And for those of you who got here, I'm sorry about the, the noise pollution, but like, I really need this. <laughs> But yeah, tell me about how your guys' days and nights are going right now. I'm, I want to hear about you guys. If any of you want to talk, you don't have to, so don't feel pressure. I'm just filling my drink and cooling off for a minute. You're going to go to sleep soon. Hell yeah. What sleep are you going to go? Like deep sleep, REM sleep, like what's the goal here? Got a lot of homework to do tomorrow. Are you working tomorrow? Deep sleep. Nice. I tricked you though. REM sleep and deep sleep are basically the same thing. So I got you, Glass. REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement, which REM sleep is linked to dreams. Also nightmares, but you know. Kind of. And did you know it's actually common? A lot of people, well, not like not like the the norm, but it is common enough to be common that a lot of people don't actually recognize that they're having dreams. Only a certain percent of people actively know that they're dreaming. And my doctor told me I am one of those people. I have extremely lucid dreams. I also have an extremely lucid, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Like, it's the word I'm looking for here. Well, I don't know the, the descriptor, but I've got a, a condition called hyperphantasia, which basically means when I imagine something, I can actively see it as if it was like real. 
it can be kind of scary when you've got hyperphantasia and then you, you like you drink so like that's one of the reasons I stopped drinking but uh yeah, there, there's a lot of interesting things that are a result of that condition and specific effect. I always just thought I was kind of weird or crazy as a kid when I saw those kinds of things. You know, because like, and, you, and then you hear people say like, oh, that person sees things, and you're like, they're crazy. And then you're kind of like, oh shit, I see things. That I did know, Zane, but very weird, uh, very weird way to break into that conversation. I, uh, I respect it, though. Zane's like, okay, so enough talk about everything else. Let's talk about boners. <laughs> like, okay, weird flex, but interesting, interesting control of the conversation, my friend. Okay. There we go. I'm all... I'm all cooled off. I'm all clean. <laughs> it's true, I did. I just wasn't bringing up that part of it. We made contact with Wayland yutani survivors led by Cynthia Rodriguez. She claims they're safe in a company bunker. We're not abandoning them to the Xenos. Find a safe route through the caves so we can extract them. Yeah, see that statue? That's an engineer glass. That's what I was talking about, like the ones from Prometheus. Rodriguez, there's no way Waylon Yutani built all this. So who did? It's company property. Beyond that, my non-disclosure agreement applies. I strongly recommend you withdraw. Giant head like an executive perk. Esther, you seeing this? Yes. Curious. Intel found. Signals oh. forward. More bugs. Okay. Uh, was I supposed to be looking for those? Did you also know that these, the red ones, are based off of old, like, 1980s Kenner toys? A lot of actual, a lot of the actual expanded universe Xenos are taken directly from those, like, old, outrageous toy lines. It's super cool to see as a fan of the franchise. Like, there's, like, a Mantis Xenomorph. A panther xenomorph. I think the panther is what the prowlers are supposed to be based on. Because it had like a reddish hue to its like action figure. Signals inbound. Oh. 
parents in the in the 90s and 80s must have just been built different because like what what kind of family is like a mom in like those olden days is like let me buy my kid action figures from a movie that they're not legally allowed to see without my consent oh they're the androids to help us Good night, babe. Again, I normally don't I try not to be like outwardly publicly affectionate when we're when I'm streaming, but still. I want you to know I love you. I hope you have a great night's sleep and have a good day at work tomorrow. And as always, your support means the world when I when I'm streaming. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. We're being sneaky. Rearming. I haven't even taken damage yet. Oh yeah. Hey, Esther's hack will take time. Accessing data. Casual like. <laughs> A Xeno search! Because of course there is. God, last bullet. That scared me. Take a sip of my drink. God forbid. Alright. Uh, this colonial marines and I'm looking for a fight. Oh, decapitated. Love it. Oh. 
This guy scared me a little bit. Oh god! Patching up. Watch your ass, Zeno. There we go. You're clear. Take a sip. No way in hell Wayland built all this. Preliminary ESR dating suggests the ruins predate human spaceflight by three millennia. Oh, those are our guys. <laughs> Ask them about Sebastopol safety protocols. Go, boys. Go. Oh, my God. Look at, our, look at our guys. I'll take a screenshot of that. You guys are great. Like a boy band. These, these dudes are dope, you guys. Are we being hysterical? Oh, they're self-destructing. Not speed, you know, it's, I have like some screen. Coming in behind. 
Of course there is. Got ammo. Oh, it was a hidden cache. Big oh, ass, you okay. still with us? Of course. We're quite safe. How's your team? No worries, ma'am. What don't kill us just pisses us off more. Xenos or synths? Synths. The sniper almost wiped us out. Rodriguez, the synths put a lockdown on the door to you. He's here. Patching up. Standard security protocol. The further non-employees infiltrate, the more violent their response will become. Yeah, we'll fuck those guys. Fire team, spike the terminal. Esther Hackett.
Oh shit. The Okay, we're kicking ass, you guys. State of the badass art, am I right? Overload rounds. Huh. A small thermal explosion on weak point hits. Whoa. Tubular magazine. Hey! Three rank- all rank up. Wow. You kicked ass there. Good job. Good job, you guys. We're kicking ass. It'd be nice if we can do two of the chapters in one playthrough. Oh, Intel, speak with Cor uh, Corporal Savine. Okay. You pulled data off a company tablet. Excellent. Allow us to decrypt. <laughs> it contains an infosec bulletin to employees. Unsecured electronic records may be cracked by the Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance Service. Oh, we applaud their foresight. Commissars formed after the Frontier War with the passage of the Colonial Protection Act. We provided oversight to eliminate corporate influence on the Colonial Marines. Over time, our mandate expanded to most intelligence tasks. Strategically, we enjoy all the sources you'd expect, from cyber warfare backdoors to interstellar keyhole probes. Tactically, we supervise Marine sniper and recon teams. Frontline Marines wow. often mistrust Commissar's motivation, which is regrettable. We all serve in our own ways. Oh, your family is doing quite well, by the way. I uh, thought you'd want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Corporal. All right. Now let's see. Oh, it's just that new camo we unlocked. Hmm. It's pretty much better in all categories.
Okay, modifiers. Each target hit by blast wave reduces its cooldown. Micro rockets now debilitates enemies, causing them to do 25% more damage from area-based attacks. And enhanced reach. Okay, so. Hmm. Let's see. Handgun. Now I want to see this. Okay, yeah, this doesn't take a circular magazine. Didn't think so. Again, I don't know what's with the smooth the jazz. the stores balance and we try to go FTL, you know Okay. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stash in a hold somewhere. Because that would be wrong. Demolisher only, so... Clear the room also now increases ability damage. Getting hit by a melee attack triggers a concussive blast, knocking back nearby enemies. This can occur once every 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. I kind of want that eventually. Okay, so 4,500 credits. Easy enough. They really can't sell cards, you know? That'd be kind of neat. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Closing in on Rodriguez's group. They're at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Yutani security since ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. Fuck. Area 
secure. Keep moving. Okay. This could be worse. Not much worse, but it could be. This is where the permadeath becomes kind of scary. Oh, shit. <laughs> and the fact that it gets all, like, actually, like, hard to fight ballistic shooting enemies, you know? This is where it gets interesting. Okay, let me sit up right. Posture check. Direct contact. Fire team, let's grab that synth power cell. Let's overload the door control. Patching up. Ugh. I need ammo. Override the door controls. Oh, thank you. Door controls, but the console's dead. Eight kids here. Nice. Now trigger the overload. Sentry deployed. Sentry deployed. I've had enough. 
enough of these robot pendejos. Amen to that, sister. Okay, let's go.
that all of them? I'd rather work through them, you know? Help! I'm becoming hysterical. eyes on this. Mother systems. Ooh, I actually am rather interested in that.
Okay, well. I guess we'll go check that one out, maybe? Is that what it wants us to do? Yeah, it was. This one did too. First, I want to make sure I got this this health kit over here. Here, grabbing ammo, patching up. Okay. Whew. I forward the details of my behavioral inhibitors to your email. It is important you know this could not happen to me. My mind is very different. I appreciate that, Esther. Okay. Okay. Well, I think this is a great time to start a raid, you guys. We did a lot in this game so far. We've completed half of it on the permadeath mode and that's absolutely crazy to think that we've been kicking ass as much as we have but yeah when this is up on youtube be sure to like comment and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel and for those of you who are watching this live thank you for joining me and i appreciate all the lurkers and support that i've gotten today and all of you mean the world to me as always my name is me with a fox and i'll see all of you marines in the next video bye